is Jurassic June. Alex and I are about to watch Jurassic Park on this really old VHS TV that he's had for like <laughs> years. And we just decided, why don't we just watch our favorite movies on VHS? And we're watching the original Night. This is Alex's. My, I have mine, but he has his uh, his actual cover, which is really fucking cool. Like this is legit. Like this is pure '90s nostalgia right here. Look at that shit. That's cool. That's so cool. It it definitely holds a special special place, you know, with the with the one foot twelve by twelve inch screen that we're about to watch this on. <laughs> we're 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 about to experience. return to our childhoods. Yes. And there's nothing better than nostalgia. Alright, here we go. Oh, should we close the door? Wanna feed? Okay. The feed me's gonna leave us. Oh, a warning! Alright, let's see. Long warning. Yeah, really, holy shit, we're... Also, we might have a few drinks while they we're... They really want us to read this. What? Modified? You don't usually see this unless it's... Thanks? Uh-oh. MCA Universal. <laughs> Turned up, but I can't see it. This is so wild. It's like Jurassic Park Lighthouse Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Wait until we hear them. Oh, oh it's really, it's really quality. <sighs> Looks like they're about to go to war. to see how this movie is digitally cropped to format Yeah, the you know what? Because I remember like, the first Pirates of the Caribbean was definitely cropped when I first saw it. Um, oh good, I, I just want to make sure that I can actually see it on the camera. Nathan is staring into the audience is so damn right I am. Let me test your Jurassic Park knowledge. Huh? Who's the name of this guy who gets killed? Joffrey. Joffrey? Without even hesitating. Okay. That's mostly because of the Lego Jurassic Park game, though. <laughs> because he's a playable character. Oh. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. I didn't know he had a name, though. Well, I mean, no, they say his name, I think. Joffrey. Like, Joffrey raised the gate. Oh.
you know, Spielberg, like, I, I know for a fact this movie's probably not going to change much, so I'm curious what's cut off and what's not. Like, I'm going to be looking for it. So far, the framing is really nice on the, on the square. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, this is, it was probably, it was made for, like, TV settings, probably. I can already tell things are cut off. Let's see. Like this, this big one take right here. I know. We are facing a twenty million dollar lawsuit by the family of that worker. You telling me that Anna can't even bother to see me? He fled to the early. He wants to be with his daughter. She's getting into more. I understand that. We're going to advise you with the situation now. The insurance company. The underwriters feel that the accident has raised some very serious safety questions about the park. That makes me message very, very anxious. I have promised to conduct a very thorough on-site inspection. Don't make inspections. They slow everything down. On April, I'm going to find I'm going to slow it down even more. Seguro. Muéstrame. Two experts. Sign up for the island. Insurance guys will back off. I've already got Ian Malcolm, but they think he's too trendy. They want Alan Grant. Well, you'll never get him on the ballot. Who's a sports? Muchacho, let your name move! Why not? Everyone, come look at this. Because Grant's like me. He's a digger. He's a digger. Que lindo eres. It would have been funnier if you said, he's a miner. And then, and then you just hear the Snow White the Seven Dwarfs theme just start coming in. I just love, dude. I wanted to be a, not, no, I did want to be a paleontologist when I was a kid, man. But I didn't want to deal with all the science shit. I just wanted, like, just give me a brush. Oh, field paleontology. Just let me go dig. Let me go dig in the. Like whenever I go to the beach, I always find myself digging. I just want I just want to dig. I just want to know. I feel like that's a natural human compulsion. I see dirt, I dig. I see sand, I dig. And you know, we probably saw some animal do it and was like, oh shit, he found some food. I can do that and find food myself. So we, we began digging because we wanted food. Now we did no. for dinosaurs. For stuff that has already been eaten. Yeah. Wait, is that a Panasonic TV? The classic Panasonic. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is that product placement? Or do they just not have a choice? No, technically, they don't straight up, like, zoom in on it. Like, if it's like, whole, like, right in your face. Okay. That is kind of right in your face. Well, they kind of just did But they zoomed in on it. It's not like Michael Bay, where he does that, like, 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 you can see it for like 10, 20 seconds, like, on, on, like, like, cause Michael Bay's a fucking, like, just product placement asshole. Oh, Spielberg actually knows how to do just some strong words there. Yes. Because I hate Michael Bay. He looks like a bird. It's raining outside, so if you hear any word, if you hear something on the ceiling, that's because of like, visual acuity is based on movement, like T Rex. He'll lose you if you don't move, but not, not Velociraptor. You stare at him. This kid is so like. He just stares right. There were theories for years that That's this kid was I'm Chris Pratt from Jurassic World. From the side. They, I'm glad it ended. They that. should they should have brought this kid back for the Jurassic World. Have him be some like doubting Thomas in the crowd, and then he just gets and then he just he dies exactly how Grant describes. <laughs> 
Like, like since, since Jurassic Park these days is all about like action and explosions and <laughs> Alex at this point of this recording Alex just saw Jurassic World 3 here yeah. here or maybe across the valley spilling your intestines that's a good thing to tell a child what are intestines oh. you're too stupid you don't even know how to die right <laughs> He just starts chastising this kid for like not even understanding human biology. How could you hope to understand well, reptile he's, biology? He's like clearly traumatized. And then yeah. she says this. You wanted to scare the kid, you could pull the gun on him. That's worse! Pull a gun on the kid, yeah, because that's totally better. You should have pulled a gun on the kid in Jurassic yeah. World, same kid. <laughs> Boom! You work for biotech. Me. <laughs> You don't deserve your kneecaps anymore. Messy, oh. they're expensive. Cheap. They smell. They smell. Some of them smell. Some of them smell. Protect the dig. Cameron's just like, haha, swoop in as close as you can. Well, to be honest, you know, I thought. I'm right, paying for this. For the, the longest time, I thought Hammond was already on the helicopter. And then he snuck off, and then he appeared in the trailer. And I real then it took me a long time to realize he was always there. That helicopter was just there to pick him up. He's just on the phone. And just, yeah, come as close as you can. I'm old and don't want to walk that far. But uh, what about the dig? I own the dig. I, I own the shit. Dig. <laughs> I have actual dinosaurs. What do you think you're doing in here? <coughs> hey, we were saving that. Hey, I guarantee it. Rest in peace, Richard Attenborough. I think you are, John Hammond. And I'm delighted to meet you finally in person, Dr. Glenn. <laughs> That's funny. I that my, uh, if that Would you be insulted if someone, like, shook your hand and then just okay, blew the dirt off your hand? Is that, like, an asshole move, or is that, like, a... That's, a. Uh... I don't, I don't, that's not any move. It's just, ah, you're, you have dust. <laughs> It, it seems like the natural thing to do. Like he's he's wearing some like nice white clothes. He wouldn't like, dude. I would do like. He wouldn't brush his pants. If I could like, grow a beard like Hammond, I, and I had like, if I I think I would have white beard because I would like do exactly what Hammond did, just so I could look like Hammond all the time. How old was he, the actor, when? Ooh, uh, he, he was this. in his seventies, I believe, when he did this. But he retired from doing movies. Like he, Spielberg was like legit terrified of asking him to be in this movie because he respected him so much. And so, but he like, I think this was like, one, this wasn't one of the last movies he did, but this was like, he hadn't done a movie for like 20 years before Jurassic Park came out. So he didn't die until 2011, I think. Hmm. Just when the... Oh, yeah, definitely, that's cut off. I know for a fact there's... I do, I'm afraid. Yeah, 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 it's, it's definitely cropped. I like that. I right. oh, the camera moved a little bit. Yeah, you're right. But, but it was out... But that means it was out of frame to begin with. We, we're just seeing it more because it's on a, a smaller screen. I think this was shot widescreen, and then they cropped it to fit... See, whenever it says modified from its original version, that's when. It's... So this is def That's what they mean. Not the movie itself is not edited. It's modified by the aspect ratio. Yes, Phoebe. I tell you, why don't you come down just to the pale of you for the weekend? I love having a video about paleo. We have a paleo doggo. I've got a jet sandwich. I'm sorry, this is impossible. A little doggy has entered the just Come to my magic water. Wait, I have oh, I, I had I haven't had consistent funding for a whole year before. And you're offering me three? I got I have work? Okay. Okay, Alex, see you now he basically is just like I'm gonna let you have fun for the next three now years. Now that you've seen Dominion. And you've seen Lewis Dachshund. Now, compare it to this, the Dachshund that I... 
Dobson. This is to me, Dobson didn't seem like that big of a scientist. He's not a scientist. He just seems to he's, be he's like a, a middleman for he's, investors. No, he's a businessman. He's yeah, he's, but he's like, a thief. He steals from other corporations to make his own company rich. He should have fucking cloned Nedry. <laughs> no, Nedry was a failure. <laughs> You're a failure, Nedry. You always will be. You want to know the real reason why this actor couldn't come back? Not because he's dead or anything. You want to know, you know the real reason? Money. His name's Cameron Thor. He's a registered sex offen offender and he's in jail right now. <laughs> You're a failure, Thompson. His last and name you are in real life. Too. His last name is Thor. That's so. His name is Cameron Thor. You think with a name like that, you would have a little more respect for his actions? Yeah, you think so? See. And he can't see that. Although, although when you think about it, in Norse mythology, Thor has done a couple douchey things. We have a we have a dog below the screen. She wants the attention. Give me the attention of Jurassic Park. Have to be back here in San Jose That's up to your guy. Seven o'clock tomorrow night on the East Dock. Make sure he gets it right. How are you planning to beat security? I have security. <laughs> Actually, not wrong. Liter literally. <laughs> Don't get cheap on me now, Dawson. Don't get cheap on me, Dawson. Yeah, this is definitely cropped. There's no... <sighs> I, I kind of like it. It's kind of weird, but, you know, we've seen it so many times, we might as well enjoy it. Watched it in 4K as so many like times. So you two, um, but watching it like big up, big up nine, having this night, <laughs> this 90s trip. Man. Well, <laughs> you have to get used to Doctor Malcolm. He suffers from a deplorable excess of personality, especially for a man. Deplorable excess of personality. John doesn't subscribe to camp. Particularly when I had to say my little science friend in Mars while I'm here. You've never been able to sufficiently explain your concern. Oh, do I know? Because I came to visit the base base. I know the police. He's a fashionable number cruncher. Fashionable number cruncher. Like, the hell with you, Hammond. <laughs> Their interaction is so great. Oh, uh, he like goes to grab it. Yeah, he's like, yeah, like, like, just, like <laughs> me! He hates him so much. Uh, I bring scientists, you bring the rock star. <laughs> it's like, dude! Yeah, here we go! John Williams. Classics. 
Like, we have to watch Shaw's. I don't have it in VHS. No, just in Blu-ray. Like, I could buy it in VHS. If no. there's any good copies. No, don't even. I don't even. No, that's so much fun. I'm saying, we, I don't think we watched it when we got it. I don't think no. we did. I remember we watched it with Tyler, though. All three of us watched it. You watched it for the first time. Yes. But I don't think that was when you got it. No. So how did I, you watch it? I saw it. I saw the 45th Steelbook 4K anniversary edition at, at Target of all places. Like, yeah. Well, how do you want well, even like a super Target? Like, like a super Target. This is not a weekend excursion. This is a serious investigation of the stability of the island. Dude, yeah, I'm surprised how good the sound is. This, like, this is surround sound. Jurassic Park kind of... It didn't invent surround sound, but it was like a huge instigator of it. No figure. No speed away from the camera. Oh. Alright, here we go. This is my favorite movie scene of all time. fucking real. It looks like a real dinosaur was captured. Maybe that's what Spielberg was hoping for, and then he knew it's what was mastering him. Uh, to be honest, to be though, uh, I can't, okay, I can't talk. No talking until after this scene. Do you said you had a T-Rex? Say again. You have a T-Rex? I love that. You have a T-Rex? Dr. Grant. Dr. Grant. My idea, Doctor Satcher. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Dr. Grant's mind is a bit of a Oh, that's my problem. That's that right there is probably my favorite shot in any of the you know, old movies. schedule and production, so they just kind of 
worked it into the scene. So the people you see working on the set are actually, are actually working on the set. That's crazy. So this, but. The, some of it still has to be. Some of it is planned, like probably yeah. that guy walking by with the thing. But you see all the workers and everything. That's real. That's actually pretty cool. I wanted to. I. I, I kind of. I, there's some facts I. I know that you don't know. So I'm. I'll, oh, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that that's that to me, I'm like, I'm like, I thought that was just part of the scene. No, they're actually like the, the when they're working on the outside of the building. They're actually working on the outside of the building. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. Like, I mean, use true. use the actual crew that yeah. built everything, just working into the scene. Yeah, you get some as long as you don't react to the camera and go about exactly. your job. But uh, how did I get here? I think I just thought that was so cool. Well, let me show you first. So when things aren't finished, it's like legit. It's kind of, but I mean, it kind of sucks though that they didn't. Get it. Spielberg can get everything finished in time, so he's just like, well, we'll incorporate it into the shooting. <laughs> Multiple John Hammonds were doomed! You know, something about cloning, when you clone something, it's always, the clone is aged older than the original cell. Mm. So, like, if we made a clone of you, that clone would be, like, 20 years older in cellular age than you, even if you're the same physical age. Well, that's the thing with genetic tampering, though, in my opinion. A DNA strand like me is a blueprint for building a living thing. In the dress Park movies, dinosaurs would be, they live 10 times longer than they actually would in real life. In real life, a T Rex wouldn't live past the age of 20. It's a huge animal. Yeah, but I mean, it's also like disease or being killed by another dinosaur. Thank you, modern medicine. Sometimes, exactly, the T Rex gets modern medicine. <laughs> I always thought that was hilarious, like a failure. You're a failure, mosquito. And now we're gonna dig up your remains and use you to clone dinosaurs. You, so you're not a failure, actually. You're a success. Well, no. The blood you sucked is a success. You are a failure, mosquito. <laughs> no, no, not my ass. You know, so sophisticated. You know the thing that sucks about this movie? But the way they explain everything to clone dinosaurs and bring them back feels so fucking real that it pisses me off when everyone says, oh, that's not possible. No, no, anyway, I'm like, fuck you, scientist, I can dream. To look at the entire you, you, you just gotta look at this as like science fiction, and you gotta yeah. you gotta accept the science and reality of what you're being seen at some point. Well, no, the fact that Michael Crichton, like he is a he, well he was rest in peace. He was a legit like scientist himself. Like he did tons of research. It wasn't like he just said, "Oh, I'm gonna bring dinosaurs back on the series." Like he actually looked into it and like found out that it could. Be possible, <laughs> but then they fill probably in the not to this extent. No, no, yeah. Like, I mean, that's why I filled in the genome with other animals. I wonder, did John Hammond get John Williams to compose the music for that? <laughs> Breaking the fourth wall really gets John Williams. Also, we had, well, you know, I had Steven Spielberg come in and direct that short, and, uh... Are, are these characters, uh, auto-erotic enough to be have no animatronic fear of them? Those people are the real medical... Are these auto-erotic? No, that's not what he meant. That's what he said. Yeah, but... I, mean, I know, meant, that, I know meant, that's a joke. Okay, okay. I'm like, are you meant. saying I can't recognize a joke? Screw your high on chips right now. Dude, these, these Tostitos. I do like this. You need to have salsa there. No, I'm good. I do have salsa when I'm saving it for my chicken tacos. <laughs> you can't do that. On track, my friend. No, no, I'm just I like, no, 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 you can't, like, they just go, <laughs> they break equipment. Excuse me. You can't, you can't do that. Uh, 
Well, See, the fact the fact that you decide you already you already have made up your mind about the movie. No, not the movie, the characters and some of the decisions in Dominion. But I'm just like, it's too I mean, Wu. Okay, Wu in the first movie was a good guy. Especially in the book, he was, a, he was just, he was an innocent. He got killed by, in, the, in the book, really gruesomely. He got fucking murdered by the Raptors. So I feel like, that's why I'm going to work on my own Jurassic Park remake. <laughs> you're going to piss, you're going to piss off a lot. No, I would, if, if I ever, ever did a Jurassic Park remake, I would do more faith to the book. Like 100% more faithful. It would be a horror film though. Because, like, James Cameron was going to do Spielberg. Cameron beat... Spielberg beat James Cameron to getting the rights to the Jurassic Park by, like, I don't know, minutes, I heard. And J- Cameron said he would have done it more faithful, which would have made it more gruesome and brutal and bloody and everything. And part of me almost thinks, like, what, what would have happened? Like, would have been a, be- a better movie or would have been a worse movie? If Cameron got it before Cameron did Avatar, dude. What if the director? I can't remember his name right now. Who was it? Was uh, the director for Alien got this right? Ridley Scott. Yeah. What if Ridley Scott got Jurassic Park? Think about. That. I couldn't see that. No, I could see James Cameron because of Terminator Two. I could see James Cameron directing the Jurassic Park movie. I couldn't see Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott would change everything and probably screw it all up. Cameron would be more respectful. And we're talking about Terminator 2 Cameron, not current Cameron. You have to pick a, a day and age of actors. <laughs> that you, no, okay, okay. Right, I want, like, you're saying, like, I want 1960s George Lucas to direct this movie. Well, to be honest, I do want George Lucas to be, like, old George Lucas, because he had respect. Because nowadays, like, I could change that, I could change that, and I could change that. Yeah, at the very beginning of this, you criticized um, uh, Michael Bay, saying that George yeah, Lucas is way better than criticizing George Lucas. No, I'm not criticizing, I'm not criticizing George Lucas. I'm saying, I, well, no, I'm not criticizing George Lucas, but I'm also, like, criticizing how he's changed. Michael Bay's always been the same shittiness. Well, there it is. See, like, Hammond in this movie is like how I feel like Michael Bay. Like, I hate, I really, really hate that breed. No, I'm, I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. Hey, that's on the poster! What species is it? Uh, <laughs> it just starts eating the raptor baby like a burrito. <laughs> Oh, burrito. That's fucking horrifying. It just goes full of <laughs> Cronenberg. <laughs> the clones are mutating in the first <laughs> <laughs> start. Expulling mutated versions of themselves. You know what I just realized? What? Every time I look at Grant's costume in this movie, that cow's fucked. That crowd is fucked. That's the look of someone who knows they're fucked. You know what? Let's get this over with. I'm going to my death. I might as well get eaten by some raptors. Jerry, Michael, and Steve left the pen this morning. They haven't come back. I'm not coming back. Oh, oh God. No, 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 please. Please, spare me. Shoot me in the head at the very least. Why do I have to be live and be brought into this thing? Someone who, like... Someone just says it's more humane. No, no, no! <laughs> oh, My question is, where do you record a cow screaming like that? I feel like there's a sound library that Hollywood has. No, no, like, I'm saying, where do you get a cow screaming? Like, you have a sound library and we record it live. Like, where do you get that sound of a, go- of a cow going, like, <laughs> like, it's terrifying. Maybe the cow itself made the sound when you hoisted it. That's true, maybe. Wait, what's on the ground? She just me? 
What's on? 50, 60 miles per hour. That we've got out there. Is that dirt? What is that? Is that? that? No, that's a yellow painted that's line for like. Street. Oh, maybe. I've like, never noticed don't that. Really... Yeah. I've never noticed that before. With the branch cavity. Show me some intelligence. Even problem solving intelligence. Especially the big one. Big one. We bred eight originally, but when she came in, she took over the bride and killed all the two of the others. That one. When she looks at you, you can see she's working things out. It's kind of scary so when an animal, animal like looks at you. You have them all attacking like the fences when the bees The fences are electrified, right? That's right. But That's what I think about when I see twice. crows. They were testing the fences, but we really? Yeah. Automatically. They can they, like. I read somewhere. I, I don't know where I read this shit or they told this shit, but like apparently there's crows can hold vendettas like for five years and like they can remember your personal face for like five years and they'll actually yeah. holy shit this also reminds me I saw a, a crow earlier swoop like dead center of our uh -huh. fence and just before he hit the top he like went up and shit and it fucking hit the fence and splattered everywhere so that's so, all that happens on the news so I guess ju when, when birds are like flying low to just just to give them a little extra up, they shit, and that might and like just before hitting obstacles. So maybe they. That's why like windows just below roofs get hit with shit because birds basically aim directly for the ledge of the roof and shit, and it hits the windows and like the wall and like this window that's like really far up in the corner. You remember? Yeah. Okay. They're shitting when they when they fly up, just before things. This is I don't like this thought anymore. So, so I witnessed that. So and I just thought to myself that could have been my face. So it turns out so you it seems like you have a raptor on your ass. I'm always kind to animals. Like a crows. Apparently, because crows hate your guts. No, they didn't shit on my face, but. Not yet. I, I just have no mercy for like insects because they don't they don't really have consciousness. Plus, there's a billion, there's a billion to one. So except like bees because we need like bees. And shit. Except the wasps. Just lift the shoulders of geniuses. So accomplish something as fast as you could. And before you even knew it, you had it. You 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 had it and packaged it and slapped it in my lunchbox and now you're selling. You're selling. Jeff Goldblum deliver this character on just a silver platter for everyone who's great. And you want to know the scary thing? What? They're considering cutting his character completely out of the movie. Like completely. They were just going to merge his character with probably like the, the lawyer. And they said, and like, I think when they cast Goldblum, they're like, please, like, bring the... Like, they cast him, but they weren't sure if he was actually going to be in the kitchen, if they were going to be part of the character movie. Dinosaurs. And um, luckily, and like, I think he did, like, he convinced them, like, please keep this character. Yeah. It was perfect. He might have even taken a payment cut. Going better, but I'm like, I'm also glad that, like, Jim Carrey was also in the role. Jim Carrey was you didn't know in that? Jurassic Park. He could have been, he would have been Ian Malcolm. Great for the natural world. Oh god, I don't know if I can see that. You didn't know that? Oh, I didn't do that. I'm like, Sony, no. Sony needs to deep fake Jim Carrey's face onto Ian Malcolm. Oh, I guess he just like the really good scenes. I guarantee someone has or will. But yo, Jim Carrey was in the running. He was like. Like, Goldblum just beat him. Well. Thank God he did. I don't know if I could see Jim Carrey as this. I mean, I I mean I could, but he would be too. The deep fake will see if I don't know because he wouldn't do the same delivery as I mean, he, he could, Well, he couldn't be like he would be completely different. He'd be more quirky and like <laughs> hopefully not like uh, Batman. Wait, Batman forever. I don't know. I don't believe I can't you sanction your perfumery. Against these characters, and the only one on my side is the blood sucking lawyer. Thank you. I'm gonna take that personally. You almost have to tone down your performance and not outshine anyone else. That's why this scene works. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, Josh Goldman stole that in Cyrus. Target audience. Grandpa! Well, he's probably the most seasoned actor out of all of them. Wait, seasoned? Actor? No, that would be an well, in it, between this trio, I guess I should say. Okay, yeah, I think Sam Neill was not that. He was a fairly decent actor, big actor, but he wasn't huge until after this came out. Like, to be fair, I don't even put Jeff Goldblum and Hammond's actor together because of just the career difference. There's no chance. Spare no expense. What are you doing? Next time, you're all right in that. Dr. Sattler, come with me. Dr. Brown, come in the second car. I'm alright with Dr. Sam. Let's ride with my lady. Well, his character is a womanizer. Yes. Or a ladies' man. Alright, with Black. Just reach for it and break the kid's neck. Do you really think the dinosaurs turned to us? And that's what they all want? I don't condone breaking children's necks, just so we're clear. Hey, Tim is actually a good child actor. I, I know, I know. I'm just, I just, but it's so I'm, I'm at the age where it's just like, ugh, oh, children. Dude, but it's so freaky. When I saw him, I didn't realize it. He was in Bohemian Rhapsody as like the drummer. As the drummer, yeah. I'm like, that's nuts. Which, uh, which car are you playing? This... Grant's reaction to him is my reaction. I this guess. is a this is a nice long one or two. I'm polite in public, but that should be there are so many kids. You know, when you're shooting a scene like this, it's terrifying because there's so many reflective surfaces that the camera can be seen in, and you don't see it. Oh yeah. Between like the car window, that, I did a whole caper on the Raptor kitchen sequence, and every single surface in the entire scene is reflected. Uh, Seventy-five miles west of us. That's rough. Yeah, that makes a pro. That makes an it's an ass of time for a cinematographer. But when you have the guy who shot Halloween, the original Halloween, Shit. Dean Cundy. Dean he's, Cundy. He's my favorite cinematographer. He shot Halloween, he shot Who Framed Roger Rabbit, he shot Jurassic Park. And part. the thing! That's when you know you that's yeah. that's when you know you have a guy who knows his shit. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Panasonic! Okay, it is product placement. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'm just like, like now that I'm looking for it, I'm like, product placement. <laughs> <laughs> but I will allow it. Ford. Yeah, it's Ford Explorer. I got a lot of crap for that on the video by show, calling it like a Jeep or something. And I'm like, okay, I get it. It's a Ford Explorer. Hey, look. In the style akin to Jeep. To me, all cars are like that, are like Jeeps. To be fair, as a child, I always called it a Jeep because the shape just yeah. reminded me of it. And I guess, like, as a kid, you don't really catalog brands. It's just, oh, this car. Why should our hearing is Richard Tyler. He spared no expense. If you go to the right, spend you no will expense. be a bird of the first dinosaur. It's like he's sweating over his money. <laughs> he's like, oh, God, I spent a lot on this. Please don't fail. No, I spent a lot on this. Well, having this movie isn't as... Money grubbing is the book version. The book version died in the first book. Well, yeah, but he deserves to die in the first book. There was a lot of scumbags in the first book, I remember. No! No, really? It was only Hammond. Well, there was Nedry and Hammond. But Hammond in the book was a, a terrible person. He was just like an evil Walt Disney. And I think the the intro to Jurassic Park two on the beach with the little girl and the copies that is one hundred percent. That also happened. That is the, the opening book. of the first book. Yes. Yeah. yeah. They adapted that. Yeah. One hundred percent. The Spinosaurus scene on the on the raft or whatever was also in the first book. The Pteranodon was also in the 
Cage was also in the first one. Yeah. So, like, so when know, people say, like, Jurassic Park 3 sucks, I'm like, uh, it adapted oh, those great scenes. I'm totally unappreciated in my time. Yeah, Tree. You can run this whole park in this room and you staff for up to three days. You think that kind of automation is easy? Or cheap? You never you know, know but if we're taking business, into this character's account, you know, I do this job? If you it seems like all of this is extremely stressful work. And if he is having genuine financial troubles, it's not even that. There's, it's not that. In the, in the book, it's like so easy for him to do everything. Uh, well, when you have stuff automated. His problem is that he's greedy. Ned Reed is greedy, but also Hammond also should have paid him more. So it's both. Both of them are at fault. Okay. They, that's 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 a that's a good message. Don't give in to your greed, because it makes makes you both douches, and you fuck and you fuck each other's lives. So it's better to give than to receive. Yes. Yes. And the spirits always have the spirit of Christmas, Nathan. Because if you don't, you'll you'll end up fucking yourself. What is this Christmas shit coming from? I don't know. It's just some. Random lesson that's just like, oh, better to give than to receive. Don't be greedy, give instead. Okay, I'm kidding. You know, that's how, like... Apparently, some mics are supposed to, supposed to appear in the in the reflection. I, every time I miss it, if I'm not looking for it... I think it was... I think I might have seen it, like, dip out. Just from the side. Because... Like the side of the window reflection. Well, there's supposed to be mics inside of the car. Oh, no. Okay. Well, on this ratio, we'll probably never see it. God destroys dinosaurs. God creates a man. Man destroys God. Man creates dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Eat man. Woman inherits the earth. Alex, do you have a comment? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> It's a hilarious joke. Feminism. <laughs> but you know what? Back, I'm cool with that. Nowadays. Wait. Oh, oh. I thought I saw the mic. Well. Did you eat the milk? You're, you're a clever one. <laughs> you just turned like... Oh. <laughs> You know, he kind of looks like a Palpatine. He could he could easily just, like, start saying, like, weird shit. Like, fuck it, whatever. Do you know the tragedy of John Hammond? Once he fed, he was to hunt. Broke his legs, rolled down a hill, and was eaten by comfies. He dressed 65 million years of gunning. How's my accuracy? What? Hammond fell down a hill and got eaten by comfies? Yes, you're accurate. But also, the kids were responsible for him getting killed. <laughs> yeah. they, play, they were playing on a speaker and were making T-Rex noises, and that scared him, and then he fell down the hill, and then he got killed by comedy. Now, eventually, you do plan to have dinosaurs on your, on your dinosaur doorway. Hello? He hates him so much. Really hate that man. <laughs> so he doesn't know what to do. Uh, and later they became bus friends. Brandisaurga. And uh, they set patterns and were park schedules, the essence. No. Hammond became a believer. Oh, what would they need to <laughs> this is my attempt to seduce you. I am very good at it. You know what I could see? A Ian <laughs> Malcolm prequel movie. <laughs> Stop trying to get more Jurassic Park as no, a bit prior to the prior to Jurassic Park. Like before he gets on the helicopter and takes him away. <laughs> Okay, okay, now freeze your hand, freeze your hand. Don't move. I'm going to do the same thing, start the same, same place again. Which way do you want to roll? Let's say, that, same. Same, same, same. Why? Because tiny variations of the orientation of the hairs. Yeah, I'
Oh, uh, look, he's seducing me. What are you going to do? Like, you're, you're struggling. Your I'm liking it. This is... Ri there's everything wrong with this scenario. You're going to have to speak up sometime in your life. I'm just going to fuck everybody around you. There's another example. You know, normally in this situation, you'd be like, Are you mad? And the car would go careening off the side of a cliff. No one's driving. She's like, Everything's going wrong. This shouldn't be locking mechanisms It's true. You should have had locking mechanisms. That is a huge liability. Kid just runs out, just hey, touches Nedry, the fence, what gets fried. Nedry, why are you looking at the embryo uh, chamber and also the dock? Oh, maybe you're trying espionage. Maybe we should arrest you right here. There's there's no sus suspicion, though. No, he was pretty clever. His problem, Nedry's plan was perfect. If he hadn't done it during a fucking Monsoon. hurricane. If he hadn't done it during a hurricane. Well, that, that was his only... Boat opportunity. He should have. He should have been paying attention to the forecast. I mean, like, oh, Hurricane's here. I shouldn't do it yet. And maybe it was the only time the security would be as low as it was for him to pull it no, off. No, because I mean, after he could just put it in a refrigerator. He could have waited another weekend or something like that's like. Nedry could have waited one more week, and he would have been a billion dollars richer. But no, he had to do it on a... The storm died on the mainland. Oh, oh no, it died. It ravaged at sea for on, months. Okay. Man, that still looks amazing. <laughs> From the YouTube channel, the Stan Winston School, this was the only dinosaur they actually sent to Hawaii. Everything else was on a sound stage. Okay, will you give Jurassic World Dominion credit? They had a ton of practical effects in the movie. Like tons. Probably the most since the original movie. Like the Giga? Contrary to what you might think, the Giga had so many practical effects when it was I, I could see it. Maybe because it, it just, like, the reason why it was moving so slowly is because it was real. Like, they built a real Giga. But you never I mean, I mean, it's always nice to see them merge. But I, I practical prefer, and but digital, I, but... I mean, I prefer this, though. I just want something fully real. You're never going to get that kind of reaction out of people. Like this scene right here. And you're, you're touching the eye. Like, it's almost like it's... it's don't touch me. Apparently, Stan Winston was kind of upset because it had this really cool color screen and they covered it in dirt. Yes. Like real dirt. You know they're toxic, but the animals don't need them. Like... I kind of, I kind of, I understand that. Don't cover something perfect. Pretty sure? Pretty sure. There's only one way to be positive. Yeah. 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 And then to see the dinosaurs dropping. Shit. Drop. You and I both know it was coming to that. Fucking monsoon, we're screwed. It's a maelstrom. Pick it up again tomorrow where we left off. Show me that hole. 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 Full born in the abyss. I don't think Disney owns Jurassic Park. No, thank God they don't. Still lost Universal, yeah. Ah, yes. Good. The quote I use for every Disney movie nowadays. Uh, that is one big pile of shit. <laughs> Never gets old. Oh, God, the sound effect is just so fucking nasty. Oh. Uh, 
I don't know if that's sound effect. I think that's just pure onset. Probably just mud and hay. <laughs> There's really is just like we got a spray with actual like fart spray developed by the military. That, that I wouldn't put it past. <laughs> You're a failure. <laughs> Steps in it. Hacking. 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 Hack. Execute. One of the six dot exe. Please, I have to insist that we get moving. It's lightning and, and me scared. I want their fan to get wet. Please. That's one of the producers, by the way. Hell yeah. That, that guy is like one of the uh, actual movie producers. I don't know why. He's like an actor too. I'm not sure anymore, but like I think that's kind of cool. That was earlier today. And Q, real life actual hurricane footage. No, 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 listen, you gotta give me the time. I did a test run on this thing, it took me 20 minutes. I thought it could maybe push to 18 minutes. You gotta give me at least 15 minutes. Let's give me 15 minutes. 15 minutes? That is a no. terrible time. See, that's where he should have said, no, I can't uh, do it. He should have just waited. So much for our first tour of two no shows and one six. Like, that? just take the Barbasol can, freeze it. Even worse, John. And then wait until weekend where there's not a hurricane. Anybody want a soda or something? And then you can win. <laughs> you win. I'm going up the machine. I thought that, you know, I, I guess I'm just like, sorry, I'm, I don't like sweets, and I think I'm going to get something salty. I thought maybe some. Unless Doc said really doesn't have those. Well, well, I, uh, or, I don't know. Um, or, I, you know, I maybe this is like the only that, weekend, like he needed to wait until weekend when no one would be guarding the embryos. There's probably an ultimatum. Yeah, uh, that's also probably true. He, that would I would have put it past Doxon. He would have wanted those embryos as soon as possible. 18 minutes and your company catches up on like 10 years of reverse search. And you know, maybe this is the, again, like you said, the only opportunity where enough of the staff was either off the island already. That, that might be or, it. Or... But at the same time, there could, there could have been a better opportunity. Difficult to say. Kids. Eight, oh, oh, hell yeah, three. I love kids. Mm-hmm. Anything all can does happen. I love fucking their moms, too. For that matter. Occasionally. Occasionally? Yeah. I'm like, dude. Yeah. I'm always on the lookout for a future ex and mouth. And then you wonder why you're such an asshole. I can see why. It, his character's personality, people would not like him very much. Well, I mean, he was supposed to die. Three, two, yep. And then, I think, okay, I remember, okay, we're watching minus he's, he was supposed to die in the T-Rex deck, and then That's Goldblum right. apparently convinced Spielberg to not well, kill him. Well, I mean, like, I just don't know how that works. That's, that can't be something you plan beforehand. Like, you have to... It has to be pre-planned. Oh, God. Who knows? Maybe it was just like, come on, you're, you're, you're paying me, like, all this money, and this is all you're going to use me for? You gotta, like... Yeah, you gotta... You gotta well, use me a little bit more or something. I don't know. I love it. I love... I want to... I've always tried to be sneaky. I've fast. always wanted one of these Barbasso can things, man. I've tried... I've looked up, like, how much they cost. Like, some are ridiculous, like... But I, I just want the one with the, the embryos. <laughs> the cryo door closes, and then you just... No. Temperature adjusting. It just flash freezes Nedry with the. He just. No. And then he falls forward and shatters into like bloody ice. He's not like. Where's Nedry? Nedry? Oh god! Oh my god! He's what the hell? Every, oh, you forgot to tell him that when you, the embryo chamber closes, it locks everything down and freezes it instantly. So he's dead. What the hell is he doing? 
We Why was he trying to shit? Did he take a barber saw? Was he trying to shave in the cryo room? I, I think so, sir. Oh, God, everything's going down. We're... <laughs> Everything, and then everything still happens exactly the way yeah. it <laughs> Like it literally changes nothing. Well, it would change the Jurassic World because the uh, Barbasol can is recovered. Yes. Spoilers, obviously. Uh, Spoilers. It's been three weeks. It has? Over two weeks at the very least, I think. So. But by the time I've rolled it, so. I'm in on Tiny Foods, probably. Oh. I mean, at that point, if you haven't seen it... Yeah, sorry, yeah, spoilers. Deal with it! Shows how much of an idiot he was, and he didn't—he didn't—he had everything planned out, but he didn't have everything planned out. Technologically, well, maybe I'm overestimating. Well, no, he has technologically he had every backup plan, but physically he did not. He could have also just been disoriented from the storm and the pressure. Well, the last thing you want to be is blind during a storm and also rushing. He was rushing. I mean, he was just like, I'm just going to go through a freaking hurricane and hope nothing goes wrong. I'm like, dude, take your time. Like, I don't know if it's like an actual skill or not, but Sam Jackson's like acting with a cigarette and talking monologue for as long as he does while also holding a cigarette in his mouth and not dropping it. It's just tasteful. It's really, like, that's not something you see very often. I'm guessing, I'm betting he practiced. I didn't say he was scared. I didn't say he was scared. I know. But I can smell the shit in your pants. No, you can't. No, that's chaos, dude. That's, that's the smell of chaos. Oh, they're expensive. Put it back. This guy's just like all concerned about assets now. It's like, dude, like, kid, that's, that's, you're going to break Hammond's money if he pays for that. That's me paying for that. I don't want to pay for that. Because I want money. Okay. And I don't want you to cost me in. Oh, God, I can't. Okay, I want to watch this. This scene scared me as it on VHS as a kid. I wonder if it's just as terrifying. It feels like claustrophobic. Like ooh, thud. Great child acting, you know. No, the, uh, right here. I mean, from here on out, the, the kids are not. The thing I give respect to this movie, the kids are not annoying. They're just caught up in this madness. Yeah, that is, that is true. Like when kid, when they're screaming, it's like legit. I'm going to die screaming. Although De Niro, he was a badass in the book. He was a bitch in the movie. I need to reread the book. He killed a raptor with a rocket launcher. I don't remember that. It would. It, it, that's the that rocket launcher in the first book. In the first book, he lived in the first book. Why the fuck is there a rocket launcher at Jurassic they, Park? The, well, I, I guess. Oh, there's definitely that was definitely cut off the screen. I, don't, I remember seeing the edges. 
Yes, here we go. Bring me Rexy. Oh. Practical. Yes. He's like, he left us? Ah! All things considered, it was probably a good thing. They, well, you, go, you, you should have kept running. No, I run into the bathroom. I can see the TR's tail in there. Oh. The sound is still the same. Wow. I'm getting chills. Technically, theory. Oh no! Yeah, that's that was made up, but we don't care. <laughs> the kids just get annihilated. Ooh, a lot lighter. Would you just piss yourself? Oh, I definitely would. If you were like, if you're not shitting yourself, you definitely already pissed yourself. In the wild, that's probably a dead giveaway because they can smell it. Yeah, well, I'm guessing that's what Rexy's smelling. <laughs> the shit in their pants. Uh, that, that's straight up. If, if something looks at me like that, I'm gonna shit myself. I'm dead. And you're dead. be a living nightmare. Like, as a kid, I can't imagine anything more horrifying than this. A giant predator inevitably coming to eat me. And there's nothing you can uh, fucking do. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. What are you going to do? Fight it? <laughs> You're not primal. You're dead. I want to go back in time and watch this for the first time. God damn. Oh. You know what else sucks? I don't own Jurassic Park 3 on VHS. Because that was when DVDs were first coming out. Jurassic Park 3 and VHS even exists. Oh, okay, I'm getting the chills. Shit! Shit! Oh! Oh, oh this shot right here. Oh! No CD required. Real! <laughs> you should not light that up in a car. This was Jeff Goldblum's idea. This was his idea. He suggested this to Spielberg. Get the kids! Like, that was his idea, and Spielberg took it. Be because, because he literally just got through saying he loves kids, like, earlier. Well, yeah, but I'm like... Like, he didn't want... Die, you bitch! He didn't want Ian Malcolm to be an asshole or a coward. He, like, said, get the kids, and then he drew the TRS away. Well, it's narrow on the other hand. Well, I mean, he wasn't evil, he was just... He was just unfortunate circumstances. <laughs> he was just corrupt. Oh, oh, 
Oh, he wasn't his corrupt. Brother, he was just. He was made, He might have been like. He just saw the dollar signs and yeah. nothing else. He was. He I was, can't see anything but the dollar signs. Everyone, in my okay, mind. everyone is an innocent. The thing that sucks about this movie, everyone is an innocent except for Nedry. He was a. He was a thief. Oh, don't move. Oh, oh, would you gamble with that? Oh my god. Or would you fucking Dude, run? how would you feel being right next to that thing? Oh my god. In real life? Oh my god. I can't believe they didn't preserve that. They didn't preserve the original TX, because if that was in a museum, dude, I would visit it like every week. I don't care how much it would cost. Like, that thing at the skin of the original T-Rex was still existing, how would go see it? I don't know if there was any speculation whether or not the movie would actually perform well. No, they were, the book sold like millions of copies. The movie was going to do well no matter what. The marketing campaign in this movie was oh, saying, oh god, that's easy death. I don't like easy death, <laughs> no, I don't like it either. Especially that, dangling death over your face. What's worse? Would you rather be the kid hanging to Grant or the kid in the car? <laughs> I'd rather be uh, hanging on to Grant. Because I most assured death is in the car. Oh, uh, you're seconds away from me. <laughs> oh, here we go. That was the last shot of the animatronic T-Rex. Well. Still perfect. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. Keep playing. No, no, no. He left me here. He left me with my thoughts. What do I think? I think Samuel Jackson's cigarette acting is still as good as any scene. Bring back my grandchildren. Obviously, an animal's character is killing it. I don't, I don't, I don't even know what this video has turned into anymore. Is it a commentary? Is it just a fucking watch two guys watch a 12 inch by 12 inch VCR? VHS screen of Jurassic Park. Quality is still pretty good, I'm not even gonna lie. It's like it's like 1080 on a on like a computer monitor. Like this is the size of the computer monitors I would use in elementary school. Like the, the foot screen. 12 by 12. I play all kinds of weird ass math games and shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> you left me here with my thoughts. This is what happens. Yeah, so you're just talking to the audience as yourself, not even like. Ah, oh, yes, comedic slip. Wait, was there like a, a sound? Like the slippy sound? Yeah, that was put in. That was. That wasn't on set, dude. That was Gary Rydstrom himself put that in there on fun, on, 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 for fun. I almost want the trumpets to come in like a bomb, 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 and then then you just eat shit immediately. Like from that scene, you know when he like just gets <laughs> up, you just immediately go to when he gets hit in the eyes with the. <laughs> you can do it. And then he just has an off-screen death from there. Because, you know, once you get shit in your eyes, you're already dead. <laughs> I love the Dilopi. <laughs> I, I love Nedry's uh, acting right here. <laughs> he's like, he's like, uh, that's the look of shitting yourself. That's the, oh my god, I can't see. I know here. what that is. You don't even acknowledge it. You shouldn't have. I don't even know if it would have attacked or not. It wants to see your eyes. Well, it's curious. Look at it. It's, it's, it's like, it does the, the head, yeah, the head thing. It's like, what? What? It, maybe it sees yellow and doesn't really 
I have nothing no. to do. Well, he's talking to it like it understands him. I'm like, dude, you should have just walked away. I don't even know if trying to act bigger would even deter it at all. No. It probably just it should, he should have. You. He should have. One, he should have never turned his back to it. Two, he should have always kept his eyes on it as it be- as he backed away. But also, three, the Dalapi is way bigger in the book than it was in the movie. He's shrunk it. Still is horrifying. Like, that close, I'd be shitting myself. Yeah, that's... Would, would you have the nerve to keep still, or would you, would you kick it? I would do something. I would kick it. Yeah. Thing that smells. Oh yeah, definitely. It's in the book, you think. That's why you don't look back. That gave me nightmares, man. That that black goo getting in the shot in the face. Goodbye, Barbara Sokan. Goodbye, millions of dollars. You know, I never understood why the Delight started didn't just eat him then when he fell. No, it was going to get in the car and then eat him. For PG rating, man. Because if it killed him outside the car, it would be rated R. <laughs> I still think he shouldn't have opened his eyes. It's, he should have just been like, and like, tried to shield himself. But, that, Jim, just but Alex, that would require being smart. And he is stupid. Right here. I'm going to look after you, but I have to go help you, brother. So I want you to stay right here. She's literally shitting herself, too. Honestly, as a, as a kid, it would just be... I love that line, though. He left us. That's not what I'm going to do. Trying to reaffirm her faith in... Well, no, I mean, this whole movie, the thing I like most about Jurassic Park is like Alan Grant is the main character like there's so many main characters in this movie but he he's the one that evolves the most the story like seems to follow well no I mean to be honest there's not many the movie it focuses on Hammond I mean the thing is like you think it has too many main characters but it really focuses on Grant because Grant is the one that evolves. Like the character that most evolves in a movie is usually the one that is the leader of it. Grant goes from this guy that hates kids to the end, embracing kids and wanting to have a family by the end. Which is why Jurassic Park Three, despite what I, lo- I love about it, it, he he should have wanted a family. And, the, and by that time, he should have had a family. Which is also what Jurassic World Dominion kind of tried to... No, it kind of screwed over. Like, by that time, Grant should have had a family of his own, too. Like, why does Grant get screwed out of a family when Jurassic Park showed him the value of a family? That's what I don't understand. Like, they just kind of ignored that. I I will agree with you there where his character does seem to evolve the most throughout the story. Everyone else already seems to have their stance, I yeah, guess you could yeah. say, on things. Like, but his character goes from... Yeah, he does evolve with being exposed to... Lexington. The, you know, fostering these, these kids. Well, and he protects them. Like, he, when he sees, he sees... Initially, he doesn't care about them, but then he sees, like, I protect them. Like, he has no reason to protect them, they're not his kids, and he, really, he doesn't really care for Hammond that much. But that, they allow him to evolve. <laughs> Let me just like, I don't want to alarm oh, no. you, but if you don't get down there, we're here <laughs> You know, for the longest time though, Sam Neill, probably is one of my favorite actors. I think he's great. Keep going, kid. What are you doing? We're going to die! We are going to die! Name that reference. Yeah, Jones. Thank you. (gasps) 
Uh, I don't like. Who's he dying with? Dude, yeah, that was so good. Who's indeed dying with? In the car. In Temple of Doom? Short round? Yes. Yeah. Well done, you almost got me there. See, look how quickly the storm passed. It's not raining right now. It still should be raining heavily. It's true. But Ned, it's like, Nedry should have waited like maybe an hour. Actually, you know what? I take it back. He should have waited just a, until after the storm passed. And the storm's not gonna last like an entire, sometimes they don't last an entire day. Or whatever. The captain was gonna go. I think this was that, oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. Shit, hey, well, the captain just fucking waited. Waiting that close to harbor at a storm is not a good idea. It's true. Crap, things just didn't work out for Nedry in general. Ian? Ian? Remind me to thank John for a lovely weekend. Give me chance to Please, chance. You know what sucks? The actor who played Muldoon just died from, like, a blood transfusion. Really? Yeah, he died from, I think, like... Oh, he, he, well, he died too young. Like, he died not long after Jurassic Park came out. He would have been huge after this movie. Really? Yeah. That's unfortunate. I think he died, like, maybe five years after the movie came out. His name was Bob Peck. Like, he was... He, he could have been huge, but, like... Bullshit. I don't. Know. It, it was either it was either blood transfusion, HIV, or maybe like cancer. I swear it was one of the. It's like one of. It was something he had no control over. I know that. Oh, this. This is. Is this more iconic, or is the cup? The cup more iconic. Cup, the it, cup. cup is more iconic. Did we hear that? Lost World made it Did a little bit more iconic. Better though. It's an impact tremor, is what it is. Impact tremor. Tremors! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My, 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 the my, my, words my. happen. No! Or no, the graboids. John Hammond engineered graboids. Oh, okay, here we go. I want to see this Except, part. Except, like, they're the size. Oh my the... god. The Rex's eyes are terrifying. Must go faster. <laughs> Is Lori screaming shit? Because that's what it sounds like. What? She's like, shit! Shit! <laughs> wow, oh. they were screaming shit, too. This is not good. Oh! I don't know, it's still... It still looks amazing. Okay, <laughs> call me like... I don't care what people say, the CGI giant dress park still looks out of this world. But Laurie was happy about dinosaurs until this moment. <laughs> yeah. And then he scared her. Like, do you see the T-Rex? Do you see how hor I, horrible- They almost fucking died. Well, yeah, it's just <laughs> reliving that PTSD. Yeah, well, from, from Lost World. Yeah. Or no, he's discovering a new PTSD. Uh, 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 oh yeah, uh, I, I, would, I would be uh, completely- uh, 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 Dinosaurs uh, 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 are, are gonna kill us all. Uh, 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 see, I, I, for, I told you for so. some reason I wanted him to be the villain in Dominion. You did tell me that. I'm like, what? I would I'm be like, that. That would be so wild. No, uh, I was no. Like, I'm honestly, like, no. It, it was because at that point I had very little hope for the rest of the movie. I wanted just something. Yeah, but that, that completely that ridiculous. to me would that to me completely would ruin the movie. <laughs> I still there should have been way more snot when that one sneezed on her. Oh, yeah. Like Jack Sparrow level of Do you mean cracking snot? <laughs> <laughs> just completely just 
Oh, go to the whole, no, not even her, just all of them just get destroyed oh. by the snow. But then the joke would be ruined. Or the kids just get destroyed by the snow. It doesn't summon Brachiosaurus, it, it summons more T Rexes. It, no, it summons the Brachiosaurus, but they're pissed. They destroy the tree. <laughs> Eat them! They turn into primal brachiosaurus. Oh god. Sauropod. No. You keep quoting primal. Rage. That's where you make the nightmares of that. The rage virus. <laughs> oh god, that was Roy Rage. What was it? The the ma- the virus of madness? The vir- yeah, the mad yeah. I don't want to see that ever again, like I hope because that stuff was nightmares. I love that I love that raptor claw. You know what you can do now. That should have come into play again. He should have like stabbed a raptor with it. That would have been uh, really like, cool. I agree. He, he should have like, kept that claw like, and used like, it. Like, it's, like, a, it's a prop that keeps coming back. It should have had some significant play. I think that would have been perfect to use when the raptor's trying to get into the door and trying to, when they're trying to keep it out. And he stabs the raptor's claw with the raptor claw. I think that would have been, and he loses it right then. That would have been so poetic. Like stabbing the raptor with the raptor claw. Because he, uh, I felt like he needed like uh, an extra moment of uh, bravery to defend, like maybe the kids. Like as as he's pulling um, uh, the girl's character, Lex, Lex's character. Oh, oh, I see. Up, and the raptor comes up. He, and he, he could, slashes at it with the claw. <clears throat> or it actually manages to like grab onto the. Mm-hmm. The air duct, and that's and when he stabs it, and he loses it. But he's holding, actually, but he's holding on to that. Would be a really good idea. I agree with you. Oh, all that merchandise. Be sure to get it when you can visit Universal Studios. That stuff doesn't exist anymore. Ugh. They created it exclusively for the movie. I hate it. I hate this it. This is a very like melancholy, sad scene. Well, I, I John, John like it. knows it's over. So he's just like, damn, yeah, I'm fucking... Entire... Yeah. I, I feel so bad. This is a good scene between the two. Well, that's though. the thing I like about this cry... It's all melted. Next to Mo- Book Hammond. Like, Book Hammond is an asshole. Movie Hammond is like, I feel sorry for him. It's it's poetic. It's you know, he said it, they're all melting. Like, I'm referring I'm to, I'm like, his park as well. Yeah, like, it's all falling I'm apart. Like falling apart. And he tells Petticoat Lane. You know the first attraction I ever built when I came down from Scotland? The Flea Circus. Petticoat Lane. I don't really quite wonder. I don't think this was some bad luck. But. A wee trapeze and. Uh, something like this might uh, be. A very good um, reference. Cut, cut itself. Huh. I like the idea of. The seesaw. Like a little move, motorized, of course, but uh, people would say they could see the fleas. Oh, I could see the fleas. Mommy, can't you see the fleas? Clown fleas and high wire fleas and fleas on parade. This place. I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion, something that was real. Absolutely right. Having it was a mistake. That's obvious. We're over dependent on automation. I can see that now. Now the next time everything's corrected. He is in denial now. He's no, a little bit. Yeah, no, without a doubt. Next time it'll be flawless. Next time it'll be flawless. AKA it's Jurassic World. It's all an illusion. When we have control. We never have control. That's the illusion. I was overwhelmed by the power of this place. But I made a mistake too. I didn't have enough respect for that power and it's out now. 
The only thing that matters now are the people we love. Alan, Lex, and Tim. John, they're out there where people are dying. She keeps it real. So. That's the, although the whole, the, the line that I don't like is the whole, where people are dying, I'm like, only one person has died at this point that they are aware of. You know, yeah. you never, you, we don't know if there was more casualties <laughs> implied. I, I don't maybe, know. but I'm just like, that's the only line I'm like, people are you know, dying. Maybe, like, she's, maybe she's saying like, oh, you know, from the beginning we saw, like, the opening scene with someone uh, dying to dinosaurs. Maybe the accumulation of all of this to come to flourishing means the body count is so high it's not worth it. Okay, that one. Like, you know, you can interpret it that way. <laughs> How are we doing with the battery? Okay, good. Roll! I would just be like... <laughs> it's okay. It just bites his arm. Oh. Just... Oh. No! No! Like it goes to like chew up and realize it's not me, so he just drops him off the tree like taking the game around and just breaks all the his body. Aww. They should probably not have held that branch. Apparently this this animatronic was created late in production. From Stan Winston School. They said that this was like one of the last last one they made. I'm like, I can't tell the difference. It looks like it was made from the beginning. Can I touch it? <laughs> I'm not sure if it would react this way actually. Sneeze. It would just it wouldn't just roar, maybe. Just because it's a bracket sword doesn't mean it wouldn't roar. CGI. <laughs> it is disgusting. Oh, it got in her mouth a little bit. Yeah, it definitely did. Uh, it should have gotten in both. It's them. like, it's almost like, well, I fell into the freaking T Rex car. You get sneezed on. Now we're even. I think Grant could have gotten sneezed on. Like, he tries to educate them a little bit. It didn't just nasty. <laughs> What this is. It just starts eating it. <laughs> this is delicious. <laughs> this is delicious. You know it is delicious. <laughs> what, what, is, what was the. Uh, this is delicious. This is Cake Town. Amphibian DNA. What's that? Wow. On the floor. Don't say they used. Front DNA. Talking about eating. Shells makes me eat chips. chips. You're Just eating chips. Well, I mean, you're eating chips right now, so it's like. Uh, some West African frogs have been known to spontaneously change sex from male to female in a single sex environment. Hey, Alex is eating chips right now. Oh, that was right. He smiles and he's just like, oh god. Ah, sexy Jeff Goldblum memes all over the place. Have that implemented in the Jurassic World movies.
Yeah, when something gets serious, it's like legit scary. It's like, you're going to do this or you will die. It was at this moment, they do. They fucked up. Hold on to your butt. Lighting always made me feel uncomfortable. Wait a minute, we need to work everything still on. Maybe the shutdown took the circuit breaker. All we have to do is turn them back on, reboot a few systems in here, telephone, security doors, a half dozen others, but it worked. System's ready. What are the breakers? Maintenance here, the other end of the compound. Three minutes, I can have power back on the entire park. Well, it's just a good day, I'm going to in the emergency department. Until Mr. Arnold returns, the whole system's up and running. Hawaii. I swear, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to this place one day. Oh, that rise there. Just keep. Okay. Oh shit! Plug the camera in. Gallimimus. Gallimimus. Metasauruses. Yes. Direction to this just like a flock of birds evading a predator. Mira. Mira, coming this way. Grant's just like, oh. Oh shit, you're right. Luckily, there's this random fallen tree in a, uh, in a valley with no trees. Here's Rexy. Anything on the camera, but hopefully, I can fix that in post. Look at how much blood. It's a kid? We're going to die. I've seen blood, and now I didn't like I thirst for it. Alright, Tim, go to the T Rex. Jack Sparrow. That'd be horrifying. Animatronics just fucking. Just down the road. Animatronic yeah. Davy Jones so goes haywire and becomes real and actually believes that it is Davy Jones and it actually becomes Davy Jones. Ah! Weapons. Weapons that never get used. <laughs> Because he can't kill I don't, think, I don't think a single shot was fired. No, well, Doom does fire. You have to listen for it, but you can't hear it. He does shoot fire right before the big one kills him. But I think I can follow this and then talk you through it. Plus, the, 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 the subtitles confirm it to me. Really? Both of them should have had guns. Yeah. 
I love this shot. That straight up horror. He's just like, ah. Ah, uh, yes, this is not oh, ideal. <laughs> oh, God, this, this is really not good. He's the only one who knows, like, the true... He knows the horror that these things possess. No. And normally I'd say, like, do you really know what you're talking about? Like, in the opening sequence, he saw what the raptor did to that guy. I now understand why birds fit themselves to flee. Yes. That's exactly what I'd be doing. After 20 or 30 feet, come to a T-junction. Take a left. Just in front of me, kids. I understand how readers keep at it. It's so funny just teaming the two characters that absolutely hate each other in one scene. Ah, the 10,000 volts. Kids, we remember in PE. I love, I love this joke. I guess it means a power's off. <laughs> that was, that was a dad joke. That, that, that. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was not that was funny. Same after everything he's been through, you think he'd be like, nothing is funny anymore. Oh god. And then you hear that. Fucking run. It's hard to imagine T Rex going after smaller prey, but then they're they were probably opportunistic feeders and smaller prey is easier to catch than well, he also, to take down. He caught their scent and then but Rexy's also probably never eaten a human before. When you catch that scent of something you haven't had and you want to try it, you're gonna go forever. You're gonna go at it. At least that's my theory. Okay, following the I read somewhere that human meat is somewhat akin to pork. Since we I've also since, heard that. Since we share some of the same, like, skin density and texture and, like, pork, Why do I pig, do like, organs are very similar to ours and we can use... This is been really weird. Like, but also I agree because it's, like, exactly what Hannibal Lecter said. Like, I'm pretty sure there's some science behind that, so... I don't know. If I was a dinosaur and I smelled something that smelled like pork... I'd probably, I'd probably go for it. Yeah. You come from the main street. Meat. We're all just meat, really. It's true. Unless you're a ghost. We're sentient meat. Ghosts. What? What kind of ghosts? I don't know. I lie except for ghosts. Ghostbusters are in town. Okay. Sorry. Out of the world's contact position, there's a round green button. It says push it close. Push it close. Okay. Push it. They all die. Push Jurassic it. Park just the island just explodes. Just <laughs> oops! You push the nuclear button, and we're gonna die. <laughs> Damn it, Tim! We were so close. You just go. Honestly, he looks like he could fit through the fence. The individual 
point systems. I was just I that. don't know if he should have survived this. Ten thousand volts? No, he didn't. Technically, he didn't. That's why Malcolm brought him back. Oh no, Grant. Grant brought him back. He, he saved his life. He died. He did die. But also, he should have just jumped. He should have jumped or climbed down faster, like. Because of that time, it was kind of three. And now we get to quite possibly one of the best jump scares of ever. I can't imagine how people reacted to that rapidly now. I would shit. Like, I want to know. I want to ask people. Because, like, that oh. jump, that is like the epitome of jump scares. It's like, victory! Boom! Raptor comes out. And then you have this. Boom! Another jump scare. PG-13. And then another still. jump scare. Like, holy shit. Like, this is like... Welcome to Dinosaur Horror. Actual dinosaur. Like horror. Spielberg was channeling his inner jaws. Oh, that raptor was right on her. She was so close to being. This is true thriller. It's it's thr It's not a horror. This, it's no, thriller. No, this is no. This is horror. The blood on the arm. The horror. Like the raptor coming. No, that was pure horror. With a lot of thriller. This is this is thriller. Like this right here is like is he's coming in. He's gonna. He's hoping to kill. He's hoping to get a shot on. Like, man, if he had just fired, if he had looked a little bit to his left, no, it didn't matter. There was two raptors on. He was screwed. If he had just fired and taken out the first raptor, he would have. At least he would have taken out one of them before being killed. He was doomed from the start. Oh. Oh if you hear it, you can hear the gunshot. He did fire, but it was too late. That scene still gave me nightmares, man. Hearing it, like that screaming. These kids have been through way too much. Dad. Yeah, they really have. No, Dad. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. I'm astonished he survived. I don't know if he'd be able to use like his hands or. Well, I'm telling you, he did technically live. He died. He got electrocuted. He died. Grant resuscitated him, though. He brought him back. <laughs> you know the... What? Let's see. Have you seen Holo 2? Yeah, well... You know, like, when, like, uh, Marv is turning on the sink and he starts getting electrocuted uh, and you see, like, his bones and shit. Uh, like, ah, ah. That's what should have happened? Yeah. I'm sure there's an edit of that somewhere. Oh, I guarantee you. People getting electrocuted, but then it just is <gasps> like Marv Darth, getting electrocuted. Like Darth Vader getting electrocuted. You can see his like entire like, <laughs> skull, skeleton or whatever. I'm like, the, he looks terrible. Oh man, the food. Ooh, I would ooh. just unapologetically oh, just oh, hand oh, over oh. hand. Sweets. Oh my god, what is that? It's the predator and he just The Predator arrives. 
I, I know what uh, Predator movie you're gonna you're gonna do. Predators in the Triassic period, like the actual. Oh my god, that sounds amazing! Like the actual I would dinosaur do, era. I would where do these super predators. I would do Predator in the Cretaceous period. That's where all these. That's where T Rex was. Oh my god, I love this scene so much. This scene gave me now. This scene gave me legit nightmares. Like everything else is like, eh, I'm I'm scared of it. This scene gave me nightmares. Like you could even do something cheesy where a predator visits a archaeological museum and he sees all the bones and he's just like, I want to face that creature. And, and then, then flashback. And, and then he like goes back in time. Like he has a. Give the Predator a time machine. Maybe. No, I wouldn't do that. I would do a flashback. Let's go back, back to the past. Sixty-five this million is not years. Back to the, the past. future, boy. <laughs> this is back to the Predator. Oh, god, it's so good. Damn it! You can still see the hand. Yeah, you better be. Oh. Wow, the CGI still looks amazing. It's like they're not doing too much where it's like, yeah, I can tell it's not real, but it's like they're doing things that animatronics would still be. Able. Yeah. There's definitely something, yeah, there's 100%, something's cut off. This is a living, this is literally a night, this is... This is the worst. <laughs> this is just the worst. You're trapped, not with this one, two, velociraptors that know you're in the room, because if they didn't know you were there, they would leave. They know, they smell you for sure. And they're, they don't want to probably make a ruckus or whatever, because... These things, they're sadistic. These raptors. I, I think if they were like the actual animal, their nose would be so spot on that they would find you immediately. That's but, the thing though. I think these raptors. Like, but we don't know their scent capabilities. No, I think these guys are. It'd probably be. They hot. said it. They said it like themselves, like behind the scenes. These raptors kill when they're not hungry. They're just straight up murderers. Well, and that's the design choice of the dinosaur characters, as if you call them characters, or behaviors. Yeah. Ooh. They're just like, yeah, we're going to make these dinosaurs menacing. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can always distract them with, like, with mirrors. Mirrors. Uh, uh, real. Honestly, that wouldn't have protected you anyway. No. I'm pretty sure it would have recovered pretty quickly. Maybe, but I mean, it also bashed its head really hard. Big for the freezer, boy. Ooh, Ooh that's real. Yeah. Real. Shit. Real. You wouldn't be able to. <laughs> oh, I, I love this shot. I'm coming for you. You. I'm gonna get you. You humiliated me. I'm gonna get you, kids. I'm gonna get you specifically, girl. We can call for help. We gotta reboot the system first. The door locks. This is a beautiful scene. Oof. Right already fucking there. Like you were just what? A couple seconds? Yeah, I was right behind you. 
That's what I'm saying. This this raptor is, is the big one. The one they reference. And I think it's like sadistic. It's like it's enjoying like hunting you. It's not like I'm gonna kill you for food, or I'm gonna kill you because I'm enjoying it. I don't even know if it's even that. It might just be out of hate. Maybe, but no, I mean, but that's they're they're both in you, you like cage me, imprison me, you cry me with like electric sticks. Like it, it like, wants them. It wants to get them. It doesn't matter who it is. Like I just want to kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Like I, it, it just it just understands that humankind equals pain and suffering. Yeah. So I need to just kill as many as possible. See this right here. Like the rap, when he, if Grant had kept the raptor claw and stabbed the arm, it would have been perfect. It would have been very poetic. I mean, they say it. she's a hacker, so it's, like, it's perfect. This is before, before the time. Before, uh, the current times. <laughs> it's a guess called one. Oh, God. Mr. Hammond, fuck you and everything you're you going do. to die. Mr. Hammond, I quit. I don't need your money. For the longest time, I thought when he screamed Grant, I'm like, don't shoot my creations. I legit thought that. Like, for the longest time, like, when he said, Grant, I'm like, don't shoot at my... Don't shoot at my dinosaurs. Wow, that was real. That was no CGI. That was no CGI there. It's scary that he kicked down the ladder because he assumed they would know how to use it. That, yeah, that is fucking terrifying. Because it probably would have. But it's like also I saw you go. Then up this it. happens. It's like it didn't. Grant should have just eyeball stab. <laughs> That's what the claw should have come in handy. This is when I would have used the claw, right? Right here. Well, I don't know. It, you grab on, and that's when he stabs it. No, when, he, like, when they like grab it on, and it's like, that's when he should have stabbed the claw into its eye or something. That's what happened in the dress Park game, the online Telltale game. Like, one of the raptors got cut in the eye, and that became like the signature evil raptor in the entire yeah. game. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Games and movies love to do that. Your eyeball is injured. Now you're like scar, scar face. Well, I mean, it helps. It does. Cause I'm like that way. I know which raptor is which. You look at uh. Look at, look at Spectre's leader. Blofeld. Um, Blofeld. Yeah. Doctor Evil. Inspired, inspired by. That's probably it is also. <laughs> Name three characters that have like a visual scar. Evil or good. I could name a few, but I'm not not right now. I have to think about it. Hello there. It's like it's looking at which one am I gonna go for? Oh god, another one. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh shit, I love this. My favorite climax in history right here.
That is how you end the movie. It always looked like poop over all over the side of the of the Ford. It's mud, Alex. It get doesn't mind, look like real get your mud. Mind out, get your mind out of the gutter. It doesn't look like real mud. She's, that, 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 that right there, it just sucks. It is pretty devastating. Herman didn't deserve this. You you wanted to you what? wanted to bring something wonderful into the world, but that's not the reality of what it is. I mean, just like, and then you have John Williams, who is per, this is I mean I listen to Jurassic Park the soundtrack every day and like it never gets old to me. It never gets old. He does. He does listen to Shut it. Shut the fuck day. up. Don't. I listen to it because his ears are bleeding. His ears are bleeding. Oh my god! Where? Oh, oh, Tim's one. <laughs> oh god, you're right. His his ears are bleeding. I never noticed that. Oh, that's the worst. Ugh, well, I mean, he did. Look, yeah. it's the perfect message for like you, me, kids. Like that's the message you get. That's, right? Yeah, that's why I'm, I'm pissed. Like seriously, all the movies are like, no, we can't have these two be together. I'm like, come on, fuck you. I don't know. I I think the chemistry is there. No, I agree. I'm saying like, why don't the movies like have them be together? I just don't get it. Uh, I just love this ending so much. This will be copyrighted. Yeah, you'll probably have to. You'll probably have to mute. It will be copyrighted, but I don't care that much because it's directed by the Steven Spielberg. But I don't care because it's a screenplay by Michael Crichton. Dun 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 dun. Da da Kathleen Kennedy, oh my god. <laughs> Blackmail her. Uh, so we did it, Alex. We finally got through. Oh, hold on. Let me just turn on the light. <sighs> okay. We did it, everybody. We watched the entirety of Jurassic Park on VHS on this small screen TV. I hope you can even see it because I know the exposure was not right. But you know what? Who cares? What do you think, Alex? Come to screen. I think we talked a lot during the movie. We did. And, and, if, and if anyone <laughs> was trying to legitimately watch this, we were the worst. <laughs> and I apologize. <laughs> but it's, other than that, it was more political than I wanted it to be. No, but, but, come but, on. Not even but, political in the slightest. But, but in the end, I say we did set out to do what we wanted to do and I don't care what you wanted to do <laughs> and that's that's my two cents thank you yeah. and you, you, you're not even talking on camera you're just like literally right off the camera like Alex is right here yeah. like, and he's not turn your face that's okay he doesn't want to be seen right now he's not even he hasn't had a single drink by the way uh. Stan Winston, Stan Winston? Stan Winston! Fuck yeah. I know these credits. He literally memorized like the credit timing. I have but how can I how can I blame you? You know if I watch something a million times. I, I would I would hope I know every moment you of should, the movie. You like at that point you should. I've like just the music, like I know the music cue, so I know like, oh that's when that person's credit come on. So uh this is just kind of like a test, I guess, for Jurassic Dune. I guess we'll, because Al, I just, I have Lost World on VHS, and I do, and Alex has never watched this on VHS. Lost, watch Lost World on VHS. So well, I guess we'll do that too, because I know I don't have Jurassic Park three on VHS, because, well, it, it, I don't think it was released on VHS. I don't, I don't think it was ever, because that was probably when DVDs just started coming out. We can still watch it on this screen because the VHS player also has a DVD section. So well, if you have the regular DVD, I do. Then we but can I watch mean, that, we, we, and that's probably formatted for this screen anyway. Yeah, but 
Do you want to watch Dress Park 3 on that TV or yes. do you just want to watch it on that? Uh, I want to watch on the 4K it. I TV. I want to watch it on the VHS TV. It's a different experience. It is. You can't tell no, me. No, I, I agree. Not. I'm just curious how the sound is during all this, but we may not even be able to play it because it only is taking the yellow and the white cable of the. That's uh, true. I'm, su- I'm surprised this all worked out actually at all. I'm very surprised. We're probably missing some color ratio, but I also feel like we're not. I don't think but so. That's I, not I, I think this right. is exactly how you would have watched the original film back in the 1990s. So, I mean, the, like, the set has 1993, but the DVD cover has 1994. So, that just ha- reminds me, like, was it released in 94, or was it in 93? Because the movie came out in June of 93. Who knows? Alex is really tired. <sighs> he's, he's weak. <sighs> he's weak. What time is it? What time is it? It's 11.40. Oh, it's not too bad. All right. Well, thank you for watching our... VHS watch through of Jurassic Park for Jurassic June. Thank you for watching and uh, watch this. <laughs> screw you. Well, you watch this video. You have a good time, and uh, if things go well, maybe we'll do another one in the future. So thank you for watching. We are setting out. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Comments disabled. No! <laughs> Keep that in. I'm not gonna edit this at all, so uh, goodbye everybody. Have a happy Jurassic June.